everyone, this is Beth from Art by Bedell. Thanks for joining me again today. And I have another page to share with you in my large bird junk journal. I want to make a belly band. Now this page is a, a piece of watercolor paper that I had echo printed in the fall time with some leaves. Um, this is some arborvitae, a maple leaf. Uh, I'm not sure what else is all on here. But this section isn't so great. So I'm going to add a belly band. I have already edged up around most everything with my vintage photo. So I have this piece of paper that is also been echo printed with coffee and with Queen Anne's lace is what this is, even though you can't tell, but that's what it is. This side is okay, but I'm going for the dramatic look today, so I want to use this side. I'm also going to put on top of that belly band some Mommy Gami paper that I have created out of just some newsprint paper. And then I have a piece of pleated, ruffled ribbon that is made out of paper that I have created a while ago. And I thought that would look real pretty down through the middle of there. So I'm going to start with this and what I'm going to do is stitch this all on. I thought about doing a double belly band and that can be done too, but I want to do some cra crazy stitching. So if I do crazy stitching, then you're not going to be able to get anything in there. But if that's what you want is a double belly band, then don't stitch the middle of this. Do the tops and the, the top and the bottom of all three of these papers and then you'll have Gosh, could even be a triple belly band, one, two, and three. I want it to be just one belly band. So I'm gonna go stitch this down and then I'll be back. All right, I have the stitching complete and everything is down nice and secure. Now, these edges, if you want, you could glue yours down so they're nice and flat. I like to have things up a little bit, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. I have chosen for the focal point to use this big bird that is part of the printables by um, Pixie Dust Designs. And I have cut that out. It comes like on a full sheet like this. You have two images on either side and I've just used the one side for this. And I thought that would be beautiful on the center of that, like that. Now, what I want to do with this to secure it is to go stitch a circle around the bird. So I will be back. All right, I have decided that before I do the stitching of the bird, I need to get my feathers in place. Now I found these gold feathers and you know that my color for this journal is gold. Make sure that's on there straight. It just doesn't appear to be all that straight. Okay, but I don't want it to stay like that brassy. So I am going to take um, my script stamp, my stays on ink, and I'm going to stamp these three feathers with some script to dull them down just a little bit. Now we are stamping on glossy and that's why I'm using the stays on because it is permanent. You still have to heat set it though. Now, when you go to heat set this, you want to be careful not to apply your heat in one area. You want to move it around and you don't want to have your heat gun real close to it because this will bubble. All right, I have my feathers done and I want this, make sure that my yeah, ink is dry. It has the little pop-up dots on them. I'm tempted just to pull them off if I can. There we go. And I will take my three in one craft glue and put a little bit of glue along my feather to hold it in place. I don't want to cover up my whole belly band here, this part. So I'm gonna tuck that up in there and have it coming out to the side so some of this still shows because this feather could easily just cover the whole thing. So I'm gonna put that there like that. And then I'm gonna take a second one and again, remove these pop dots. 
add a little bit of my three-in-one glue. And have this one coming out on the other side like that. And then I have a third one that I'm going to put at the top. With some three-in-one glue. And put that down here like that. There, now if I happen to... Um, I might happen to catch some of this. I might not. But I wanted to be sure I was able to get those in where I wanted to get them in. Now I am going to go around with my sew machine and sew a circle here. As I was stitching, I was very careful not to overlap on top of the same row of stitching before it because I wanted to have messy stitching. So I wanted to have it go kilt off just here and there, not on top of each other. The back is quite the mess, but how cool is that? So we have our belly band created. And I did three rows of stitching around that. Now, I think I will, on all four corners of the bird, I am going to add some glue to glue that down. Of course, we can't glue beyond our belly band backing. We have to stay within here or else this page is going to glue to our page. That's better. Then to attach it to our page, I am going to go over to the sewing machine. I'm going to go across the top and across the bottom with a zigzag stitch. So I found these really cool feathers in Dollar Tree. And I was standing there and looking at them and thinking, well, they're feathers. I'm doing a bird journal. But they're really, really, really out there as far as really gold. And I'm like, I don't know if that would go with a junk journal or not. And then I started thinking outside the box. And I thought, well, I don't have to use them as they are. I could stamp on them and add a little bit of black to it so that it tones it down just a little. But I still get that gold color. I think they go perfectly. So I'm very happy with that. Now, for our journal card that we're going to tuck inside here, I have a piece of coffee stained copy paper and on the back of that I want to stamp some journaling lines. I'm going to use my stamp that I have. I think most of you are familiar with by now. It is a stamp by Art Impressions and as I've been saying like a broken record you could get the same effect with a piece of corrugated cardboard by ripping off one layer, and then you'll get these lines you can ink up and stamp. So that's the back side. On the front side, the first thing I want to add is this piece of Mommy Gummy paper. We're making it to match our page, remember, so we want to add this. And somebody had asked if how you glue the Mommy Gummy paper down, because it's so ruffled, you would think, oh, that's not going to be really very easy to adhere to paper. It is. I take a glue stick and I just take my Mommy Gummy and I rub my glue stick on it. It flattens out your Mommy Gummy somewhat, but don't fear because in the end, if you want to have more wrinkles, I'll show you what you can do. And then it just really, I mean, it's so easy to apply the glue to it. And if you don't want like a glue stick or want to use a glue stick, you can use wet glue also. So I have this. I'm going to apply it to the side of my page. Now, if I want some of those wrinkles to come back, all I have to do is crunch up my paper like this. And there we go. Then we have some of those wrinkles back. And it's sticking really, really well. There is your Mommy Gummy paper attached to your coffee stained copy paper. I have this print from the collection and I am going to glue that down on top of that. Now I'm thinking, okay, we did some crazy stitching on our belly band, we could do it here. But I can't because 
my reason for this is a journaling card. And if I go do crazy stitching, you won't be journaling on the back of this very well. So I will not do the crazy stitching, but I am going to go around the whole outside edge with a zigzag stitch. We have some Mommy Gami sticking above here. If you wanted, you could cut that off. I like that look. When it extends beyond, I like that look. I also try to be very careful as I'm gluing things down and applying this layer and that layer to make sure that everything gets glued down properly that needs to be. And this corner here is not. It didn't get caught in the stitching and it's not glued down. So I will take and I will lift it up and I will apply some glue underneath it to make sure that it is adhered. There we go, that's better. Now I also have a quote that came with a kit and it said, until you spread your wings, you'll have no idea how far you can fly. I also want to use some of the dark coffee stained paper that we made with Queen Anne's Lace and I want to have that behind my quote. So I'm going to use some of my liquid glue and then I'm going to go stitch around the outside edge of that also. I need to determine where I want to put this. I also have another feather and on the end of this feather I have tied some string and so I don't want to hide my quote neither do I want to hide my bird. So I think my quote fits there then the feather I can overlap. So Get some glue on that. And again, I'm going to remove the pop dots and add a little of my three-in-one glue. Being careful not to hide my quote. I'll just take a paper towel and press down on that. So I'm happy with the front other than this edge is not glued up here. And we should add something to the back side of this. So let's find a piece of the paper or a piece of ephemera that came with the kit that would look good on the back of that. We have one of these little labels and a bird. Pink those up. I think we'll put them this way. Maybe right there. There we go. Here's our journal card. Let's see how it looks in our belly band. Okay, and it did what I thought it would do because I had taken that piece of paper, this coffee stained copy paper before, as I was laying things out and testing things, I thought it would be nice to have a border around this bird. And so that's why I chose the light coffee stained copy paper it lightens it up and it gives it a border and it all just works together really, really nice. So there is our project for today in our bird junk journal. I also want to remind you to stay till the end so that you can see the close up pictures of everything. Thank you for watching and we shall see you again soon for another page in our bird junk journal. Have a great day. Bye.